Hey, what's up everybody? Coach Matt over here, Primal Athlete Training Center, www.primalatc.com. Doing a video today to answer a question that I get all the time. I actually got this question today and it was sort of the, uh, the straw that broke the camel's back, if you want to call it that, because every week, maybe three to five times a week, I'll get an email from an athlete, from a thrower, that asks me a question along the lines of, you know, what's, what are a few things I can do to improve? I don't know who you are. I don't, I don't even know what your name is. A lot of times I just get your email address and that one question. Give me some things I can do to get better. Having, not, having never worked with you, having not worked with you before, never seen you throw, I've never coached you in person, I don't really know things that you personally can do to get better. I don't know things that you personally can do to improve your PRs. But what I can do is give you a little bit of a template. I can give you an idea of what you can do to create a list of things that you can do where you can improve, where you can show the most improvement. So what I want to do is ask you a question. Say this had nothing to do with throwing. Say this had nothing to do with track and field. Say this had to deal with geometry. One of my favorite subjects in school was geometry. A lot of people have trouble with it. So say this had to deal with geometry. Say you were terrible at geometry. You're pretty good at math, but you're terrible at geometry. What are some things that you could do to improve your test scores and to improve your grades in geometry? Well, you can go to the teacher for extra help. You can try to do some extra credit. You can get a tutor outside of school. There are probably a lot of things that you can think of where you can go and get some help in geometry. But for some reason, when you think about an event or when you think of a sport that you are part of, when you think of a sport that you're having trouble with or you're not showing a lot of improvement in, it's very hard to think of that list of things that you can do to improve. Here in the gym, here in the weight room, there are certain things that I love and certain things that I'm good at and there are certain things that I hate, things that I absolutely suck at. Good examples? I am good at hex bar deadlift. I am good at overhead press, pushing things, things overhead. I'm good at dumbbell clean and press. I'm good at dumbbell snatches. I do those events. I do those exercises very well. Things that I hate, things that I suck at. Well, squats. I mean, look at the way that I'm built. I'm six foot three, 220 pounds. I have little skinny little stick legs. No matter how much I squat, I've been squatting for years. No matter how much I squat, the increases are so small, five pounds, 10 pounds here and there. I don't make big jumps in my squat like I used to. And my squat is, comparative to my deadlift and my bench press, my squat is pretty pathetic. It should probably be 100 pounds more than what it is right now. I suck at pull-ups. Look at the length of my arms. Pull-ups are extremely tough for me. There is a long way for me to go. Glute ham raises on the glute ham raise machine. Glute ham raises I am not good at. I have not done them for a long time. I've only done them now for about six months on a regular basis. And they're just something I need to do more of to get better at. Same with pull-ups. I need to do more of them to get better at them. Well, where did that come from? I, I love the stuff that I'm good at. So I used to program that early in the week. The stuff that I wasn't so good at, I used to program into my training for later in the week. So if you at home watching this video, if I asked you, what are some things that I can do to improve my squat? You're going to say, hey, how about getting better at the stuff that you hate doing? How about getting better at the stuff that you suck at? Well, let's look at it from the point of view of a thrower. Say, for example, you love and you are good at throwing an underweight five kilogram shot put. Say you're a 12 pound shot put, a boys high school here in the US is 12 pounds. 12 pound shot put, but you're really good at the underweight implement, the five kilogram, which is about 11 pounds, the 11 pound shot put. You're good at box jumps. You do box jumps very well. You can jump up onto a 42 inch box. You've got a great vertical leap, you've got a great box jump. You're really explosive. And say you're fast. When it comes to sprinting drills, when it comes to any short sprints, any ballistic sprinting that you're doing at practice, you're the best one on the team. Now, let's take a look at some things. We've made a list of things that you might not be that good at. Things that you might suck at. How about that heavier shot put? Say you're throwing the 12-pound shot 
45 feet. And you can throw the five kilogram shot 50 feet. Well, say you pick up the 14 pound shot and you can only throw that 36 feet. Well, look at what you've done. You're a lot better at throwing the underweight shot than you are at throwing the overweight shot. So you should probably do more of this. You should probably program this earlier in your practice time during the week. Say you're horrible at med balls, whether it's med ball overhead throws or side to side med ball tosses, whatever it might be. Say that even though you're the best thrower on your team, there are five, six other throwers on your team that can throw a med ball further than you can at the same weight. So what do you do? Hey, let's improve that. Let's get better at doing those. And lo and behold, your throw will increase. Broad jumps. You can jump up onto a 42 inch box, but you can't broad jump 42 inches. You can't string together three good broad jumps right in a row. You need to do more broad jumps. So you can see it's pretty simple. You need to do more of what you hate. You need to do more of what you're not good at. That's how you're going to improve. That's how you're going to see some carryover. But the real uh, kind of caveat to this is that you need to make a list. And this is what a lot of us don't want to do. This is what a lot of us don't want to talk too much about. You know out there stuff that, you're, that you suck at. If you're slow, then you know you need to sprint more. If you're uncoordinated, then you know you need to work on your coordination and your footwork and your balance. If you're not strong, you need to get stronger. If you're not explosive, you need to get more explosive. But what it's going to take for you is you need to make this list. As tough as it is, as it is to say, you need to sit down. You need to be very honest with yourself. You need to be very true to yourself and you need to make a list. You need to make a list of things that you absolutely are not good at, things that you don't like to do. And that's what you need to do more of. That's what you need to program early in your week. When you go out to the field and you do some throws and you go on to do your drills, you need to do drills that you're not good at. You need to do med ball exercises that you're not good at. You need to do sprinting exercises that you're just not good at. If you're not good at running up and down the bleachers because you get winded or your legs give out on you, you get tired too quickly, you need to do more of that. Okay. So this is a great answer for those of you out there wondering, man, if there was one thing I could do to see some improvement, what would it be? Make a list. You will shock yourself. There might be five things. There might be six things that you can do to improve upon that will carry over and help you improve your throw. But you need to take a good, honest look at yourself. Once you do that, once you make this list, you are going to see some massive improvements guaranteed. Guys, keep these questions coming. We're only a few weeks away from indoor track season up here in New England and around the colder weather parts of the, uh, of the country. We do have the Coaches Clinic coming up. Please make sure if you're interested in the Coaches Clinic, November 23rd, uh, we're going to go over all glide shot put. We're going to have you guys making some lists too. So coaches out there, if you're interested in coming, click the link below. Go to the website. It's a website. Register. It's limited to 20 people. There's only nine spots left. You definitely want to check this out before it's too late. Hope to see you here in November. Keep those questions coming in. Talk to you soon.